HerDev is one of the most exciting things that had happened to me in 2021. I felt really grateful and it's been truly wonderful to be able to join HerDev family and also be connected with a lot of prominent human rights defenders from across the globe with various backgrounds and sectors. So the program invited a lot of really amazing experts and also guests who can share practical tips, not only theoretical ones. So I would like to share two highlights of my experience in HerDev 2021. So the first one will be uh, the behind the scenes sessions that had been conducted by the program. They invited a lot of um, civil society actors who had succeeded in conducting international advocacy and managed to um, create changes. The second one will be when the uh, HerDev is inviting a special reporter in which opened an opportunity for us to directly communicate with this specific mechanism and it turned out to be um, a door for me to continue the advocacy after the session and at the moment I'm currently advocating and engaging with this specific mechanism along with my coalition in national level. So the program has really opened that opportunity for me that I didn't know could happen. So for human rights defender who would like to apply for the HERDAP program in the next following years, I would highly persuade you to apply for it wherever you are. Because even though I think international advocacy and international uh, mechanism, specifically within the UN, is not a one-size-fits-all, it does not necessarily be able to solve all the problems in national level, but it is a great way to, to conduct uh, in parallel with the national effort. The ISHR Academy is very, very resourceful and also insightful because usually when you want to look for certain information about UN mechanism, they have different sites and it is all scattered across the internet. But in this program, they compiled it in a great way and also they have a great design and illustration so we will not bore you out. For the platform, I think it's also really wonderful. Uh, what I would really highlight is that ISHR take into consideration the privacy and security concerns that usually human rights defender has because at the ground, they also face digital attack and threats. So they really, really uh, taking this into account in developing the system. So I think that's really wonderful and it is a very, very amazing uh, resource to have. Thank you.